Last night, Jason Belmonte captured the 28th PBA title of his career, defeating longtime rival Anthony Simonson here at the World Series of Bowling. Now, less than 24 hours later. Whoa! Belmo and Simo square off again, this time in the PBA Shark Championship. Should Belmo fear the beard, or will the GOAT prevail once more? Fourth straight night at America's bowling capital, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, has delivered a packed house. Tonight, the 13th edition of the World Series of Bowling delivers the Shark Championship. Your one and two seeds, both seeking their first win on the tour. Jason Sterner was denied a major on Sunday in a roll-off, and two Player of the Year candidates are in the five and four hole. Anthony Simonson and Jason Belmonte, we welcome you to Belmo, Simo, the sequel. Girls are with us. The, the crowd all week here in Milwaukee has been fantastic. He is the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Rob Stone here with you. When we left you last night, we had just witnessed Jason Belmonte run the ladder at the Scorpion Championship and take down the one seed, Anthony Simonson. So good. Let's do it twice as these two players are really developing a bit of a growing rivalry as they continue their trajectory towards Hall of Fame status. Yeah, absolutely. You know, last night we talked about the rivalry between Jason Belmonte and EJ Tackett, but these two have gone at each other a lot. Jason even said that Anthony is the heir apparent once he retires. But last night, Anthony Simonson struggled, and I asked him tonight what happened, and he said, Randy, I got trapped. I didn't know whether to move right or move left. My ball reaction was terrible, and it was all Belmonte. You know, for the four games, Belmonte averaged 236 on that tricky scorpion pattern. His opponents averaged 182. Tonight, we started the rematch of last night's finale. Can Belmo climb the ladder again? This oil pattern's much more competitive. It's going to be a tougher road for him if he does. Last night, Belmo won that title match by 68 pins. Can the sequel live up to the original? The two of them standing down lane with Kimberly Presley. Thanks, Rob. So, Anthony, let's start with you. You just heard that Belmo beat you last night. You struggled a bit in yesterday's show, but it's a different night. It's a different pattern. How do you make it so you have a different outcome? Uh, hopefully, I have a little bit better understanding of the pair tonight. Uh, try to get off to a quick start and make some better shots overall and see what happens. And what is the key to that? Uh, focus, I guess. Focus, use the leggings. Uh, you know, that's all you can ask for. All right, good luck to you. Thanks. And Jason, we just talked about that you won last night. You ended the night going against him, and tonight you're starting your night off. But you have to run the ladder in order for to take another win. So how do you make that happen? Yeah, well, I mean, the first thing is you've got to take care of the, uh, the game that you're in. So uh, Anthony's never easy to bowl against, uh, whether it's uh, the last match or the first match. So I know it's going to be really, really tough. It absolutely is. And then I think you wanted to thank someone, B.J. Moore, yeah? Yeah, I just want to take this opportunity to thank B.J. Moore. He, he had an act of kindness this morning. I was running late due to a, a misunderstanding of the scheduled start. Uh, he was not obligated to wait for me for our match this morning, but he did. And, uh, mate, I just want to say you're a true gentleman. I really appreciate uh, what you did, and I won't forget it. Does that mean if you win tonight, you're going to give him some of your winnings? Jason. <laughs> I mean, how do I, how do I say no now? <laughs> maybe welcome, maybe a really, really, really nice dinner, all yeah. right? I like that. BJ is a stand-up guy. Good luck to you. Thank you. Hey, if I'm BJ, I want a cut of those weddings. Yeah, but, you know, BJ's too classy, man. He'll just take a nice steak dinner. That, that was I'll about appetizers. What? It was very about, classy for him to that? do that. Yeah, how about that? He, he did not have to do that. No, he did not. And it was funny. Jason has brought that up to me about an hour and a half ago. He's like, listen, I, I need to bring up BJ Moore at some point yeah. today. I'm like, well, talk with Kimberly. That, yeah, yeah. That'll be a great moment for it. So here we go. Four versus five. We start where we ended last night. Rolling out of the nerd in Las Vegas, Nevada, nine-time PBA champion, Anthony Simonson. <laughs> Anthony Simonson with three career major titles, the youngest to ever do so. A month ago, he won the U.S. Open. Tonight, he looks for redemption against the world's number one. 
So here so far at the World Series of Bowling, we talked about second in the Scorpion last night, seventh at the PBA World Championship, making the show here on the Shark. Of course, won that U.S. Open at the age of 25 years and 31 days this year. His match last night, though, with Belmo, a nightmare. At a 176 in that title match against Jason Belmonte. And what would you say, Randy, around the fifth, sixth frame, he was pretty much done? Well, it, he had some bad carry. He yep. just kind of felt like he wasn't going to get back in the match. But, I mean, the highest game bowled against Jason Belmonte last night. 192 from Tackett. Yeah. So Anthony cleans that one up, sits down, gets that first frame out of the way. Pro Bowling's all-time majors leader rolls out of Orange Ten Pin Bowl in Orange, New South Wales, Australia. Jason Belmonte. Twenty-eight career titles. That's ninth all-time. Fourteen majors. That's first all-time. He won the Players Championship to kick the year off, and he must climb the ladder once again tonight to capture title number twenty-nine and tie the great Mike Albee. Three wins already this season. You see him celebrating his title there at the Players' Championship. Also won in Kokomo, Indiana, and of course, last night, the Scorpion. <laughs> and a big part of that win last night in the Scorpion, Randy, was the ball change and the adjustment he made in how he attacked the lanes back in match three. Yeah, it's the, the ball change and then the big line change. So Belmo starts with the strike. Interesting that Belmo's using a lot of shine. He's going with a trend two that's very polished. And that's interesting because this is a 48 foot pattern. That's really long and real slick. <laughs> Pretty good start, Rob. Strike track powered by Kia. 17 miles an hour on that one. That was another thing we didn't touch about that. His adjustment with his speed yeah. last night, too, was incredible. Yeah, he went from 19 plus to about 16, 16 and a half. How tough is that to do? Uh, it's not easy, and, and, but at that level, I mean, that's what makes him so great. Simonson using an idol. Yeah, better shot. So Anthony's using a little more surface and going much straighter. You know, the, the, the interesting thing though is it's Simonson may be a little more versatile than Belmonte. I mean, we've seen the back. I, I know Belmonte. The can backup throw. ball. Yeah, but Belmonte can do that. But I mean, Simonson's got a couple more tricks. You know, he can push the ball through the front part of the lane. He can really change his role a lot. But nobody can do what Belmonte does. That's for sure. Spare strike, strike for Simonson. Remember last night, Simon was trying to hook it, but never really got into that Jason Belmonte zone. And, you know, he said to me again tonight, maybe I should have moved farther left, but I, I didn't know what ball to go to. I'd used the three balls that, you know, that, it, that had got me here. <laughs> Opening turkey for Belmo. Yeah, 20 at the arrows, fourth arrow to start out to about 10. At 48 feet, you can see the way Simonson's playing him. He's going pretty straight right around that second arrow. And Belmo is going over the fourth arrow to that same spot. Belmo well on his way towards a seventh PBA player of the year title. Tying the great Walter Ray Williams Jr. Hambone! Yeah! There's my holler house, people.
Did I tell you I went to the Holler House last night? You were telling me a little bit about it. So how was it? <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> Free bagger for Simonson now. I said it in the open that this is going to be a little more competitive tonight because this pattern, this pattern is gettable. Simonson taking a re-rack, and you can keep track of those re-racks right here, folks, right under the players' names. Look how low he gets to, to the foul, to the foul line. His body, his upper body, is parallel to the floor. Again, last night in the title match, there was 244-176 for Belmo, a 68-pin win. Oh. And a four-bagger now for Anthony. Anthony went first through a spare. Since then, nothing but strikes for both competitors. Belmo oh drops the nickel. And we've got ourselves a PAP six pack alert, Randy. With Belmo strikes here. He wins $1,000 sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly, but of course here, we urge you to drink Wisconsinably. A six pack. Belmo, perfect in the opening match. We wrap up Belmo, Simo, part two next. Welcome back. Another sold out crowd here in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. We're inside Bolero. Anthony Simonson. Struggled yesterday in the title match, doing just fine tonight so far, Randy. Two different patterns, and that's why there's two different looks. The red ball is Scorpion last night, the blue ball Shark tonight. You can see how fast, how much faster and straighter the Shark pattern is playing than the Scorpion did last night. And to show you the big differences in how these two patterns are playing. Take a look at those numbers. That is Strike Track 3D. Powered by Kia. Simonson down 20 because Belmo has been perfect through six. Oh. Randy, we're doing it again. Got ourselves another six pack alert. It's gonna be that kind of night. I told you. That's why I made that run before we got here. If Anthony strikes here, he's gonna win a grand. Sponsored by Paps Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. $500 to the jackpot. It's going to keep building until somebody cashes in here. My goodness, what a leave here. 4 9. First time he's left at this tournament. 
Missed it. Uh, Anthony had two open frames when these two met last night, came in the fourth and the fifth frame, and now he gets an open frame here in the seventh. Belmo looking to go seven for seven. Belmo's been in, within one inch at the arrows with every shot he's thrown through six frames. One inch? Yes. Way right. Or actually, it was just a little right, but it looked like he missed it off his hand. I don't know what you were afraid of. Gonna give it right back to Simonson, that gift that he just got. Yeah, he didn't like it as soon as he let go of it. That tells me that the release wasn't what he wanted. Two, four, eight, ten. Gonna try to skin that two pin over into the ten, and the ball will take out the four and eight. Second time he's faced it through the course of his shark competition. Nope. So the perfect run is over. An open frame in the seventh for both Simonson and Belmonte. Lead at 10. Heard him say, I don't know what you're afraid of. Winner to take on Jason Sterner. Belmo trying to win two titles in two nights. Come on, Belmo! Back on the strike train. Hey, Rob, you know what? Tell me. If you want to get all of the stats at this year's World Series of Bowling 13, you know what you have to do? Where do you go? You head on over to lanetalkstats.com. Those guys have a direct line to you, I've noticed. Yeah. Like your text little machine uh, yeah. keeps blowing up yeah, with yeah. Intel. Simonson, number off that open frame in the seventh. Here he is in the eighth and a matching strike. This one's going to be tight, partner. Coming down to the ninth and tenth. I get my second rack. Second re rack used here by Simonson. I mean, he just slaps a 10-pin silly right here. Look at that. Kind of a medium. Watch, almost the 5 7. This may be the turn out to be oh. the biggest break of this match. Wow. Depending on what Belmo does, but regardless, Belmonte cannot be shut out. Belmo controls his destiny, though. And nobody does it better than this man in the ninth. Yeah! Do you know that? Belmonte's passport doesn't need a photo. I like where this is going already. Well, that's it. Oh, that's, that's it? it? Yeah. I was actually kind of hoping for one more line. You can drop one in there if you want. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be that good. Two strikes and a pin for the shutout win. Best bowler on the planet. Is it even close right now? I mean, I don't think so. You know, I said before, when he's firing on all cylinders, watch out. Nobody, nobody can touch him. Little oh walk away. Little yeah. walk away. <laughs> Won his 28th tour title last night. If he's able to run the ladder again and get number 29, he'll now be tied with the great Mike Albee for eighth most tour titles. 
You know who's next on the list after Albie? I uh, can't remember. Dick Weber at 30. Oh, my. How about that? A strike essentially moves him on. One pin for the win. He can do it blind backwards lefty and he'll still get the win. Yeah, you see that. That slash, that's, that's kind of become his uh, Cristiano Ronaldo goal celebration. You know it's over when you see that. Why not? Why not? And Simonson's going to have nightmares of Jason Belmonte. Much better outing tonight for Simonson than last night. One just marginal shot where he could have gotten a break and tripped the nine out, but he left the four nine instead. Simonson rolling out here, one last shot. Not wasting any time, ready to move on. 264, 250. Belmo, another win. Next in his sights, Jason Sterner. And Sterner thought he had a major just a couple days ago. Went to the roll off. Didn't go Sterner's way. How will tonight's story unvolve for him? All right, Anthony Simonson takes out Packy Hanrahan. Although he lost the first two games, he came back in five. But the biggie, the biggie was Tom Doherty and Jason Sterner. It too would go five games. And what happened was just truly unbelievable. Tom Doherty needs just a mark to advance to the telecast tonight. And he goes light and leaves the 8-10. And it really changed the complexion of this tournament. Yeah, that was Tom left the screen. I don't think he ever came back. Yeah. Um, that was earlier today to get to our final five qualifiers here today. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson back here with you. The story tonight, kind of the story last night and this really surreal run that Jason Belmonte is on. Remember, ran the ladder last night, has an opportunity to do it two nights in a row. Yeah, and uh, you know, he, he got in a good match with Anthony Simonson. Simonson, that bad break in the seventh, followed up by a bad shot by Belmonte. So they both open in the seventh, but Belmonte comes in back and strikes out. His five games from last night to tonight, yep. he has at least eight strikes a game. And in game one, he had 11. This is a guy who's on a roll right now. It's incredible. I mean, he, and, and the way he bounces back from adversity or a bad shot, right? It's like, yep. okay, like 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 water on a duck's back. And, and also how he's able to adjust to the lanes, whether it's a ball change, whether it's how he's going to manipulate the lanes. Right. We saw it on display last night. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that big change that he made after game two, and then he jumps way in yep. and starts going sideways. And, and even though it, it, it kind of, we talked about it, it kind of looked iffy or maybe a little uncomfortable or maybe mm -hmm. he wasn't sure. I mean, he just dominated. Yep. Up next, he has Jason Sterner. If he gets by Jason Sterner, remind me how many tour titles the next two competitors have? Zero. Big zero. So Jason Sterner is your three seed. Again, made it to the title match over the weekend in the World Championship. So that match is coming up next here. But um, there, there's definitely a subdued feeling here in our PBA yep. family today. We lost um, We lost a good one. Uh, Bill Vint, longtime PBA media relations director passed away today at the age of 79 years a, a bowling author a bowling historian uh, just a bowling person right and, and he yeah. made you feel welcome and wanted wherever you went i mean he did stats for us for i don't know how many years and i always enjoyed my conversations with bill uh, he was just a, a gentle kind soul and um, just absolute tragedy uh, to lose bill our condolences to all his family all his friends, and uh, we're definitely thinking about you. And, and Bill, we have all dedicated this show 
to you. And the Shark Championship rolls on after this. Oh, the signs are out in Wamotosa, just outside of Milwaukee here for the 2022 PBA Shark Championship. Bring a sign. You, my friend, are going to be on television. I see that hand bone sign in the corner. I see MKE loving the Holler House. Hey, Los Angeles, California loves the Holler House too, my friend. Pretty cool right. place. Oh, it was so awesome last night. Here are your current Kia playoff standings entering tonight's final round of the Shark Championship. Remember, players earn their points throughout the season. Top 16 advanced to compete in the Kia PBA playoffs that start in April. Always curious where the line is. All right, so the Candyman north of the line, our friend Tom Doherty just south of it. And again, we documented how close Tom was to making the show, but that's not the end of the story. No, it's not. I mean, look how close he is to the cut line. If he makes the telecast, he's in the cut. And the other thing is that if Tom wins, Belmonte doesn't make the telecast. Jason Sterner does. Right. Crazy. And it's Sterner and Belbo next. You think Tom Doherty's enjoying watching this broadcast tonight? Uh, I'm I guess he, no. I think he always enjoys watching any telecast that you're on. I respectfully disagree. He bowls out of ABC Gates Bowl in Gates, New York, the reigning king of the lanes, Jason Sterner. <laughs> Nicknamed The Flash, his 17th year on tour, he has three titles. He was a 2021 king of the lanes in Portland, Maine. And last Sunday, he actually beat Jason Belmonte, but a heartbreaking loss in the title match. But guess what? There's no quitting that man. He's back for more. Took down Belmo 266, ah. 255 Sunday at the ah. World Championship show. Lost in that roll off to Chris Prather. Would have been his first major. Wow, he's going to play in where Jason Belmonte is. How does that impact Jason? Um, I don't think it's going to. If anything, where Jason's playing is going to impact where Jason Sterner's playing. How about we got Jason? Yeah, Jason. <laughs> just Man. walked into that one. Don't even think about it, seven pin. Don't even think about it. The nerve, right? The gall, the audacity. He, so because of the rev rate, and they're both playing kind Sorry, of John. right on top of each other, John. I would think, if anything. John, there's uh, an empty rack on 12. If anything, that Belmonte is going to interrupt Jason Sterner. Yeah, we want pins down. We don't want that sweep to come down in the middle of, of the approach of Jason Belmonte. Might just use last names for this call. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I'm surprised it took you that long to pick that up. Well, I'm not all that sh sharp. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a bit. The eerie quiet to the eruption yeah. tonight in Milwaukee, a little startling. Just full rack attack right there. Okay. Well, the 710 was left 78 times in the Shark Tournament, and it was never made. How many times has it been made on television, Randy? Four times. How many times have you called it? Once. Ooh! Good effort for Sterner, though. Remember who the last to make oh, the 7 Oh, come on. Of course I do. Gave that 10 a ride, huh? 
Yeah. That's a real run for it. Yeah, he can really he can really bring it. Open frame in the second. I'll take things you don't want to do when you face Jason Belmonte for 500, please. Are you kidding me? Back to back seven tens. Oh man, there's some there's some bad mojo voodoo going around the Sterner camp right now. Keep your distance. Yeah, man, I, I wouldn't sit too close to him. Might get hit by lightning. How we doing? Three lefties and the great Mark Roth have made it. I'll tell you what, that had a little heat on it. That is cold, man. That is cold. The bowling gods did you dirty, uh, Sterner. And for those folks that are wondering why strike track is not up, one of our sensors was interrupted. We are working on it. Belma working on a double. Well, it's back. It's oh. making a triple. Wait, was Strike Track back the whole time? Or did it just now come back? All right, well. Okay. I've just been kind of eyes on Jason Belmonte, so I haven't really noticed. Oh, yeah. just on the one lane, the right lane, huh? You never know what you got until it's gone, Randy. I know. Just, just like sitting here witnessing greatness, that's all. from his last game. Fifteen out of sixteen. His Turner's in the fourth frame. He's down fifty-three. Hasn't missed a pocket. <laughs> I'm yet. sorry to laugh, because that's just that's cruel. Yeah, it is it is cruel. Down fifty-three. He hasn't even finished four frames. <laughs> oh, oh, oh good gracious. Yeah, I'm with you, Jason. Look upstairs, man. I just want to remind you, the two seed, A.J. Chapman, the one seed, Kevin Williams, have won zero combined tour titles. <laughs> Missed it. Three straight open frames for Jason Sterner. Oh, that is frustrating. Well, here's some good news. The USFL coming your way starts April 16th. Kicks off a historic game, right? It's the Generals from New Jersey. Yeah. Taking on the Birmingham Stallions in primetime on Fox and NBC. Yeah. Of course, you know the name of the team from Tampa Bay. Yeah. What is it? I can't remember. It's the Bandits. That's the one. Right? How about the team from Pittsburgh? I don't know. The Maulers. How about the team from Houston? I don't know. <laughs> there you go, Jason. The Gamblers. Remember Jim Kelly used to be quarterback for the Houston Gamblers? Jim Kelly went to Jim the, Kelly. He went to the US. Is that, yes. where he, is that where he came from when he went to the Miami NFL? Miami to the USFL. Yeah, Philadelphia and, and, and Stars. And then to Buffalo. New Orleans Breakers. And, of course, the Michigan Panthers. As you take a look at other finishers here at the PBA Shark Championship. Yes, Conan Buttruff on that one. There's B.J. Moore. It's nice enough to let Belmo show up a bit tardy today for their duel. <laughs> Five in a row to start. Lather, rinse, repeat. Right? Front six in our opening match. We'll only get the front five here in match number two. It's 
Same leave that Sterner left on that right lane. This one for Bell on the left. Uh -oh. oh, he got it! He did it! Uh-oh, the goat at your own peril. The Spare of the Game, sponsored by Guaranteed Rate. If you believe it, you can do it. Guaranteed Rate, believe you will. You think Jason believed he got it when that one left? That's why I said, uh oh, he's, he had it when it left his hand. Whew. My, oh my, five strikes and a wonderful cleanup in the sixth. Jason Belmonte ran the ladder last night. He's rocking the rack again tonight. There she is, the pride and joy of South Milwaukee. The Holler House dates back to 1908. The bar, it's awesome. That first-hand knowledge, it's awesome. It may be even better once you, yeah, I learned the story of why the Braziras are hanging up there, by the way, too. <laughs> I'll save that one for you a little bit later. All right. Uh, but the big story, yeah, take the little walk, go downstairs, there they are, right? The two oldest sanctioned bowling lanes in the United States, and there is my Holler House team. Me and my buddy Steve White, we, we went down there after the show last night. Uh, they taught me a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> did, you get, did you get to sign the wall? Oh, no, I didn't sign the wall, but I did uh, work the pin setter. Oh, nice. Uh, I was granted access to the back of the bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's not yeah. good. And they taught me how to play um, bar die. Dangerous game. There you go, Jason. Jason's using a big foot on the right lane. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, he's using the same ball on the left lane. That is a perplexed look from him. I mean, really, one, one bad shot when he went through the nose and left the three, four, six, seven. No. But remember, in the second and third, he left the seven, 10. So three straight open frames, second, third, and fourth frames. Outside of that, three strikes. Yet he's down 62. <laughs> Three open frames to a near perfect Jason Belmonte will do that to you. This game, Jason Sterner had three, had three splits. He had four throughout the entire qualifying and match play of this Shark Championship. And it happens to come against yeah, that guy. the guy you're saying right now is the world's greatest. That guy. So thanks for nothing. Here's Belmo off his first spare of this second match. Do you know that we have not had a spare this game that wasn't a split? Right? So we have one yeah. spare, but that was a split conversion, right? Yep, yep, yep. So it's all splits, all strikes. Not like a single 10 pin looking exactly. out there. Yep. That's why you're the best in the biz. All right, Randy, yeah. you can bowl anywhere, okay. anytime, yeah. with the new PBA Bowling Challenge mobile game for iPhone, iPad, and Android. Continuously updated with new ball options, new venues, new competitions and challenges, and in-game rewards. Download the free app today, and for more info, visit... PBA.com. Yes, sir. I'm in as long as I don't have to bowl against that guy. On, Made a move. Left double wood. Yeah. That was a pretty big move that he just made there. Remember, last time on that left lane, he went high. Being told by Strike Track that it was a seven board move with his feet. That's a pretty big move. I'm guessing he's going to inch it back a little to the right the next time up on the left. Clings that one up. On, 
Remember, he started around fourth arrow, and that was over fifth arrow. And there's a lot of soup, a lot of oil in that part of the lane. Stoller down 52. <laughs> Almost left his third 7-10. You know what? Uh, if, if that was me and I left another one, I'd have just, like, tapped out and taken my... My orbs and I just said, said you're done. I'm out of here. Jason, good luck in the next Congratulations. match. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm not finishing. Yeah. Well, get us off on I, time, too. Because I, <laughs> I don't want to leave a fourth one. I don't want that kind of trauma. Right. Still a great World Series for Jason. The heartbreak loss in the roll off at the World Championship against. Chris Prather, fifth at the Rothholm in doubles. And more than likely, fourth place finish here. Yeah. Uh, strike and it's over Belmo moves on again and the rise up the ladder continues for Mr. Belmonte that looks like a ball change bowlers will fast track here since this match is already done. That was a ball change for Belmonte. I need a spare to have another look. And again. And he still covers the spare. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. Uh, when it's your night, it's your night, man. I've heard about nights like that, never experienced them. So here's that ball change, and he's going to try to jump even farther left on that left lane. Kind of like how he played him last, last night. night. Yep, and that's what we saw last night. A whole lot of that. 236. Thank you, Milwaukee. Thank you. Thank you. Belmo, the five seed, moves on 236, 203. Won it by 14 pins in the first match. A 33 pin win here in match. Number two, up next for him, your two seed, A.J. Chapman, who has never won on the tour. Welcome back to Bolero Wauwatosa. Fox Corporation has donated $1 million to the American Red Cross to support their mission of providing aid and resources, including food, water, medical supplies, and housing support to people in Ukraine and those who have been forced to leave their homes, you too can join Fox in supporting the Red Cross relief efforts. Donate by visiting redcross.org slash foxforward or by scanning that QR code right there at the bottom right of your screen. Thank you, Fox. What a wonderful gesture. Yep. Thank you. Updated look at the PBA Shark Championship. Jason Belmonte, your five seat. 14 pin win. Jason Belmonte, your five seed. 33 pin win up next. He's got your two seed, AJ Chapman, who's going to bat lead off here in match number three. He rolls out of Lightning Lanes in Manchester, Iowa. AJ Chapman. Well, A.J. Chapman in his sixth season, still looking for win number one. He qualified third, 
for the PBA Shark Championship match play portion of this event. And guess what? You know who he beat in the round of eight? None other than Jason Belmonte. He averaged 251 against the great Belmo. Can he keep the mojo going? Yeah, let's see what he does when the lights are at their brightest. Just three rollers left here at the Shark Championship. 13th edition of the PBA World Series of Bowling. Brainchild of our commissioner, Tom Clark. Love yep. this, love this event. Yeah, Tom, Commissioner Tom Clark's vision when he put this together back in 2009, and here we are, World Series of Bowling 13. 27 international players here for this event. 13 different nations represented. <laughs> It's going to be interesting, this match here, and I'm going to tell you why. Belmonte lost the left lane late in that last match. So we're going to see what kind of adjustment he's going to make and if he can find that left lane again. And then how well will A.J. Johnson perform going up against this guy? Now, I get that he knocked him out in the round of eight, but this is a little different situation. Sorry, A.J. Chapman. Oh, I got it. Not the way he drew it up, but he got it. See him shaking his head and looking over at his tour rep. He does, he, I think he said that's not the ball. Meaning, I don't think this is the right ball. He switched to a UFO alert on that lane. And what a break that is. Yeah, that four, team, that four pick got double teamed. Jason Belmonte, Jason Sterner, A.J. Chapman, A.J. Johnson. Right. Two for two for Chapman. 28 year old, sixth year on the tour. AJ uh, Kimberly came into this competition not exactly with a whole lot of momentum. Absolutely, and you guys may have noticed that AJ isn't wearing a bowling shoe on his right foot, and that's because he rolled it just before the start of the season in December. So he's actually been bowling in a tennis shoe since then. He told me tonight that the pain is nearly gone, and he's hoping to be able to bowl in a bowling shoe, hopefully sometime next week. Oh. 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 There. Just as good as Belmonte's trip four on that lane, Rob. Just to wrap up the Chapman story, he finished 91st in the Scorpion Championship. There's only... You come into the Shark, you're like, well, what do I got to lose, 90, right? 97 bowlers? Hey, that's my point, yeah. And he's a perfect three for three here. So a fortuitous strike for him. Ditto for Belmo in the second. Here he is on the third on that right lane, which he seems to have a little better control of. Nope. Another good break there, tripping out the nine and the ten. You know what's happening right now? Transition? No, Belmonte's trailing for the first time tonight. Oh. Okay. There you go, down 11. Remember, Belmo, match number one. 11 total strikes, got oh, the front six. He burns a re-rack here. Match number two, eight total strikes, got the first five. Match number three, got the front two, and then that nine spare. And he is, that, that brain right now is twirling. Yeah. Trying to figure things out, and, and we saw it last night on display when he won. He can adjust on the fly better than maybe anybody. After every shot, these last couple frames, 
Immediately his eyes and his conversation go to where, Randy? Right over his drawer reps. He said, that one I rolled a little bit more. Now he's got to make an adjustment on the right wing. Chapman perfect through three. Look at that. Finished third and lost to Belmonte. Four for four. A little hand bone for Chapman. The great Billy Whaley, he's, he's, Billy Whaley used to say, on that hit, hit him thin and watch him spin. Randy? Yeah. I'd like to welcome you to the beer frame, sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Grabs a Pabst today, and please drink responsibly. I mean, who doesn't like a beer frame? I had a couple Pabst handed to me last night. Win in Milwaukee. Oh, he left the 10. Chapman using a web pearl on both lanes. Not great. And Not great. like I always say, I every shot makes somebody happy. Flat 10 here for Chapman. Hey, guess what we have, Randy? What? A single pin spear conversion. Huh? Oh, yeah. We haven't had too many of those tonight. Oh. Jason had one, and now Chapman. All right, all right. Yeah, other than, uh, let's see, one, two, three. Bill Monte's shot at two spares. The other were splits. Oh, he's switching balls on the right lane now. Ooh. He's going to move in. He's going to make that big move and go to the slow wheel. Boy, this is a... This is where experience and a good guess come into play. Oh my goodness. Well, he's in trouble. Speed down to 17.2 miles per hour. Well, you can see the move there at the arrows. That was a good three and a half left. And it's got the three, four. Open frame. So the lanes have transitioned just enough to force Jason out of that zone that he was in in the first two games. And, you know, he makes the adjustment, but it's just not far enough left on that right lane. I, he's probably okay on the left lane now, but he's down 32. And it's starting to look like, based on the scoring pace, for him to have a chance to advance to the title match, he's going to have to strike out. Say. And now he's got a commercial break to think things through. The world's greatest battling from the five hole spot has dug himself quite a ditch. Can he pull out of it? Find out with us next. Welcome back to suburban Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and the online graphics you see tonight, including the ball tracer, are courtesy of Clutch Bowling. Love me some Clutch. Chap Daddy. Yeah, that's Mom and Pop. Sheila and John cheering on their baby boy, AJ Chapman. We were watching during the commercial break. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Look at the energy and exuberance from Mom over there. AJ, what did he do during the commercial break? Went over and talked to Mom and Dad. Yeah. Like it. He's in a good place right now. Opening four bagger and then a nine spare. He's up 32 on the world's greatest, Jason Belmonte. This is where you really got to put the hammer to it. Hammer applied. Oh, and a smile. Well, he's starting to enjoy this now.
Thank you very much. Yeah, I like that appreciation. Getting tough coming out of those long commercial breaks. Got a lead on the, the world number one. Big shot here. And you only got one bowling shoe. That's, the, been, that's been done before. The other thing's a runner. Uh -oh. ah. <laughs> All right, now. Now things start to get interesting because if Belmonte steps up and throws a strike in the seventh and eighth, the lead is down to 12. And that's if A.J. Chapman converts the bucket. Monte getting up on that right lane, coming off of that crazy 3-4 split. Does he make the right move, the right adjustment, and does he execute? That was an open frame in the fifth. Same lane here in the seventh. How about that move, Rob? Substantial. He's almost playing him like he did last night, except he's not going as far right with it. Two, this is my second rerun. Thank you. So Belmo out of re-racks. Yeah. And I, I feel that if he doesn't strike on this shot, he doesn't win this game. like it's going to go high and it's just like hydroplaning on a sheet of ice and then right about the last three or four feet starts to make its turn into the one three pocket all right let's see how chapman handles this right the lead really has been reduced <laughs> messenger grazed the 10 left it almost Almost. Pretty good shot there, AJ. Yeah, it was. And I like that that uh, that little uh, grazed that you use there, because that's exactly what happened. Yep, head pin. Got some, but not enough. Drops that one into the pit. Last time up on the left lane, A.J. Chapman leaves the bucket. And this shot here sets up the 10th frame for him, where if he strikes, he cannot be shut out no matter what Belmonte does. If he doesn't strike on this ball, Belmonte can strike out 9th and 10th and move on to the title match. Tip over. Yeah. Big shot, Chapman. That's a good one. Another good one. Could have easily been a double. Look at mom and dad there on the left of the screen just launching themselves out of the bleachers to get a good view of this one. Can he do it? Can he strike out? You can see the max scores right there, folks. Unreal. I mean, that most would leave a solid nine on that hit. He's got the heart rate under control. The breathing's there. I, I mean, the ball went so far by the nine pin that, oh my God, it was just crazy. Here are your max scores right here. Three more shots left for Belmo, then he'll sit. Yep.
This time he leaves it. Yep. This time he leaves it. How close was it? Ball went right by it. Mm, mm, mm. One more shot for Jason. If he strikes on this ball, all Chapman has to do is nine spare nine to win by one. to close with a 226. Give Chapman something to think about. Oh, Messenger oh won't goodness. get it. Oh my goodness. The 225. Was that a goodbye? Chapman can shut the door on his next couple shots. Well, I don't think it's going to happen to Chapman, but remember, Jason Sterner left two pocket 710s in the last match. Had to go there, huh? I'm just saying something, you know. It, it, Weird it's stuff possible. has been yeah, happening all possible. week. I think he's going to ace this. Oh, Oh, late drop of the 10. Mom. Oh, Mom. I love you, Sheila. <laughs> We're going to have a new winner on the PBA Tour. Yeah, it'll either be A.J. Chapman or Kevin Williams. Chapman, the Wichita State University product, former All-American there, able to get by the world's best, Jason Belmonte. And it'll just be nine. Belmo couldn't run the ladder two nights in a row. He exits the scene. AJ Chapman, the scene stealer. Here in match number three. Two thirty-seven, two twenty-five, twelve-pin win. AJ Chapman moves on to your title match, where he huh? will face your one seed, Kevin Williams. Somebody will be a first-time winner on the PBA Tour. Coming your way on Sunday, 2.30 Eastern here on FS1. We're going to wrap up our coverage of the Guaranteed Rate World Series of Bowling with the PBA Collegiate Invitational presented by Storm. Coming your way from right here, Bolero, Wauwatosa. The four schools, Wichita State, St. Ambrose, Savannah College of Art and Design, and Weber International. Take a look at your updated PBA Shark Championship stepladder bracket, and we are ready for one versus two. And let's hear from the one seed, Kevin Williams, standing by with our Kimberly Pressler. Thanks, Rob. So, Kevin, you're sitting in the number one seed. You're going for your first title. You know, what's the pressure going along with that? Uh, honestly, no pressure. I love the moment. I love to be in front of a crowd, TV. I'm just going to have fun, do what I do. Well, you're the only lefty on the show. How much of an advantage is that for you? How much does it play into your strategy? Hopefully, all the advantage. <laughs> Good luck to you. You've got some practice shots left. I'll let you get to it. Oh, we have heard from Kevin Williams before, Randy. Yes, sir. A little uh, singer, songwriter, slash rapper uh -huh. as well. Head on over to YouTube chat. I got my um, I got my Colgate soccer guys who have been firing up texts throughout the course of this World Series of bowling. Yeah. I mean, like hundreds of texts. Right now, I'm saying, guys, head on over to YouTube.com and just punch in Kevin, K-E-V-E-N Williams, and you can see our guy yeah. singing and rapping some bowling songs. Multiple, yeah. multiple tunes out there. And, and guys, if you're feeling frisky, you can uh, YouTube Randy 
and his greatest hits album that's out there. Randy, no response? What, Randy, what happened to you? Kevin Williams, AJ Chapman, the Shark Championship Showdown, coming your way next live on FS1. Is it time for Kevin? We will find out. Title time here at the Shark Championship. Rob Stone, Randy the Buffet Peterson, the Queen Kimberly Pressler back here with you in Wauwatosa as we get set for our one versus two title match showdown. Going out of Enterprise Park Lanes in Springfield, Missouri, Kevin Williams. <laughs> The 29-year-old in his sixth season qualified second for the PBA Shark Championship match play. Last year, second, the PBA Players Championship All Southwest here, Regional All Finals here. in Jupiter, Florida. And as you mentioned, Rob, he's a rapper, a songwriter. You got to check him out. Go to YouTube. He's got a lot of great stuff there. I'm hoping people have already been there and watched it during the commercial break. Title match uninterrupted here tonight on FS1. He did here. No, a little three zero on Don Barrett. Ooh, that's not easy. That's a triple crown winner. Yeah, he's going with your thing. Purple hammer. <laughs> he's a real likable guy. A really nice, engaging guy. And he's a he's really a lot of fun. Chapman, your two seed from Manchester, Iowa. Drop Belmo, 237, 225. Seven strikes in that match, including the front four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the biggest star of that win is mom. Sheila, dad, John in attendance, right? I mean, like literally within yards of him. So remember last night we talked about EJ Tackett and his golden move and how he creates power well guess what there's a straight line AJ does the same thing you have to it's the only way to create revolutions oh really left the seven Great shot. Great shot. AJ using the same ball in both lanes, a web pearl. His best career PBA Tour finish second back in 2019. Non-televised event in Chesapeake, Virginia. 2015-2016 season, runner-up for the Collegiate Player there. of the Year at Wichita State. There. As we mentioned, we're going to see Wichita State in action Sunday here on FS1. First annual PBA College Invitational presented by Storm. Here's Williams. Take a look at his arsenal. Williams with a strike in the first. Here he is in the second. First shot on that right lane. Blows it up. Anytime you get over 500 in the RPM category, you've got some pretty good stuff on it. Tall guy getting low. Slightly in, just enough. 515 RPMs on that shot. This will be his best ever finish regardless on the PBA Tour. Same for Chapman, right? Does he have a second place finish? He does. I stand corrected. I just talked about it. Oh, I didn't hear you. I noticed. Lubbock Sports. Okay, 
How about that? 17th time he had to drop that pin through the course of the shark. All right, so where did AJ Chapman finish second? You just said it. Where was Harry it? Harry O'Neill Chesapeake Open, non televised event back in 2019. Oh, yeah, I guess that did count as a title, but it wasn't televised. Correct. Okay. Again, these are all things I said earlier. <laughs> yeah. And I also heard you call me Buffet again. What? I did? Easy there. Yeah, get on down, I 10. Know. Get on down. Easy, Wilbur. That one's coming hard. Single pin spare conversion drops the four pin. This is how AJ Chapman is playing both lanes. Left lane is red ball, right lane, the blue ball. A little bit farther in on that left lane. We've seen that throughout tonight's telecast. That left lane hooks more. So it only makes sense. Strike track 3D powered by Kia. Chapman up in the fourth. Mm, left the seven. Just a little light into the pocket, but that could have struck. Cleans that one up, not too far. To my soccer family out there, I want to let you far. know, coming up next year on FS1, CONCACAF Champions League quarterfinal action. Second leg activity between Pumas and the New England Revolution. Revs won that first leg 3-0. What were your thoughts on the first leg, Randy? I thought it was, it was pretty awesome. Well, well put. John Strong, Moa Du with the call. I got to get you out to an MLS game one of these you know days. I don't, you, know, you know I don't know anything about soccer. We're going to change that. Except that they run around a lot and they're in awesome shape. Oh, oh my lord. lord. Williams with an oh my lord and that's why. And then <laughs> the backward smile, right? Terrible. Bad shot, big right. You can see the lines there. Well, they were up for just a second, but if you caught it, that was a big miss right for Kevin Williams. Did he get it? Yep. Well, the, one of the great things about the World Series of Bowling is that players that maybe we haven't seen a whole lot of get a chance to win for the first time. And we're going to have our 21st player to win their first title here at this year's World Series of Bowling. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, and that's one of one of the elements of this World Series of Bowling. Obviously, bring in international talent, but also get more opportunities for more bowlers out there. Williams leads the seven. Better shot, though. This is the soft seven again, using urethane. Open with two strikes. Now he's looking at three straight spares. Has missed this a couple times here today, or through the short competition. Again, for all of the stats throughout the entirety of the World Series of Bowling 13, head on over head on over to lanetalkstats.com. You can find out everything you want to know about your favorite player. Your strike percentage, your spare percentage, how many times they split throughout the, the entirety of this event. You can nerd out there big time Absolute, with those numbers. Absolutely.
Nelson Jr. He leaves a soft that's tap. Good too. God, that's good. Well, Belmonte beat this pattern to death with his high rev rate. It forces AJ farther left than he probably wants to be for that reason right there. Drops it again, the title match uninterrupted. And we are with you up until CONCACAF Champions League. On, Sheila and John. Keep that you guys are on. John knows. Now Sheila does. And so does that guy. Nine pin game as we enter the sixth. Nine spare, nine spare, nine spare, nine spare. Four in a row for Chapman. Gets the strike. The second of this title match. If you were to pick a winner right now based on what you've seen, who would you take? Chapman. He's got mom in his corner. You're not going to ask me? Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing uh, because I've learned this lesson before in my buried life. And I failed. <laughs> Strike for Kevin. So, Randy, right now, looking at this, who do you think is going to win? Well, prior to that shot, I was going to say Chapman. Okay. So you've changed your mind now? No, I'm, I'm neutral now. Now you're neutral. Okay. Yeah. All right. I believe that's called sitting on the fence. It's just being an analyst and, and just taking in the whole picture. <laughs> you guys and, saw and the stink eye, Randy. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> Nine pins again. He gets the week seven out on this ball. And he's going to be in pretty good shape yeah. after seven. He might move into his camp at that point, right? Oh, no. check, check, check. Keep your eye on the seven. It is blown up, but it's the six that's left. Go that way. A little bit. This is his 18th six-pin lead? Yeah. Wow. He, uh, he, he got that one in again after acing the one on the right lane. AJ Chapman with a strike in the seventh takes the lead by one. You said that he finished where in the Scorpion Championship? 90? In the night, yeah, 91st. Oh, Chapman in the lead! From 91st to first? Pretty good turnaround, huh? Back one. Well, it looks like AJ's moved his eyes a couple boards to the left, meeting his target, and just going a little more direct. His first pair of strikes here in our title match. And he's covered all his spares and kept himself in it. Kevin started with a double. And only one strike after that. Chapman to that left lane. Tuck Pinky digging that thumb in. Go! Go. Yeah! Yeah! Boy, you and I both looked at each other immediately after he struck there. It looked like a flag should have been called for clipping on the five and the seven. 
Yeah, the punt return touchdown should have been called back, right? right? That's a that's a chop block. It's more of a chop block, I think. I, I still like clipping. All right, so pressure swings over to the Williams camp. Down 11 now. Remember, he had the lead just a, about a frame and a half ago. Yep. My really goodness. good shot. Super good shot. Yeah, but he's running out of time, and yeah. AJ Chapman is working on three in a row. Williams only has three strikes. To the foundation frame ninth, and uh, Williams needs something to build on here big time. Who will win the Shark Championship? Somebody's about to be a first time winner on the tour. Kyle Sherman wins on Cheetah. First time winner. First time singles winner. Singles, yep. okay. Strike in the tent. AJ Chapman is going to win his first title on the PBA Tour. He strikes here and goes nine spare strike in the tent. He will shut out Kevin Williams. All that math is great, but it hinges on getting a strike here in the ninth. And he won't get it. That's not good. Now the count's even. How about that pin sliding right between the three and the five? I'm sorry, the two and the five. Look at this. Yeah, Whoop. that four pin got kicked in between the two and the five. Now this is choppable. You got to be careful and pay it a little respect. Let's go All right, cool. Oh, come on. He strikes oh, out. Nice. He shoots 225. If Kevin Williams strikes out, he shoots 225. See it right there. How many roll offs did we have this week here in Milwaukee? <sighs> oh, by the way. Well, we had our first one ever in a major. Right. In the title game. In the title match. And it went to three roll offs. Yeah. I think it was just one. One of them went to three. Yeah, that, that was Kelso. Yeah, that was Chris Kelso that went three. Yeah, yeah Chris Prather throws a strike, and then uh, Jason Sterner went high. You're right. It's kind of hard to remember. There's been so yeah, much bowling. So many matches. So much coverage. Chapman able to get the, uh, the bottom left-hand side of that rack to get clubbed down. And he's going to use... A re-rack right now, yep. So he's out of re-racks, he's got a 10-pin lead. If he doesn't strike here, Williams can throw a double in the 10th and win his first title. I want to remind you, CONCACAF Champions League Soccer quarterfinal action coming up next. Pumas and the New England Revolution. Revs won the first leg, 3-0. That is next here on FS1. Forces Kevin Williams to get two. Basically, whatever AJ Chapman does in the tenth, Williams has to do in the tenth. 
and that's just for a tie. If he gets nine here, Williams needs all three. shot left off his hand now Kevin Williams just needs a double and nine two twenty three for Chapman biggest shots of this young man's pro career about to come up can he get the week seven out can he execute and make the biggest shots of his young career. <sighs> Must strike. about it you just got to do this focus on your motion focus on what it feels like to execute a perfect shot don't think about who's watching at home how much money I can win I can win winning my first title none of that can filter in to the computer right now you just focus in on the motion and the shape of the bowling ball going down the lane A strike for the win. Eight, we have a tie. Anything less, it's AJ Chapman. takes home the hardware for the first time ever in his career. Kimberly with our winner. Kevin, high pressure moment for you. You needed three strikes, you came through, you were clutch, but you just said, I needed this. Explain that. Um, this last year or so has been a roller coaster for me mentally. I don't want to get into it, but uh, it's just good to get one. It's just good to get one. You are a PBA Tour champion. How did that sound? I don't know, I have no clue. This thing's huge, it's shiny. Mwah. Oh, let's go! Enjoy this moment, congratulations. Come on. Are you kidding me? Thank you, everyone that supports me.
Williams closed with the last four for title number one. That is your satisfying moment of the match. Sponsored by Snickers. Yeah, nothing satisfies like the Snickers. Nothing satisfies like your first tour title. Pack your hand oh. there to pass oh, on the congratulations. Oh. Don't forget to head to the PBA oh, YouTube channel. Just a couple minutes for the PBA post show presented by Kia. More bowling coming your way Sunday. The PBA Collegiate Invitational presented by Storm. Coming up next, CONCACAF Champions League quarterfinal. Second leg action. It's going to be a good one. Pumas and the fighting Bruce Arenas of the New England Revolution. For Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler, and our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. Kevin Williams, congratulations on tour title number one here at the PBA Shark Championship.